ここにいるぞロビーよ、ジェフ、need your help。Again? I am swamped here. I know, but the big boss, loved your report. Need you to do another one. That's a lot of work. It's gonna take me at least three days. My calendar is packed. I would, I would need to stay late. Jeff, remember, we're all a family. We help each other out. All right, but can we at least talk about that raise? Jeff, come on. We're all family. You don't need a raise. Wait, what? Diving right into the first productivity tip for work, use ChatGPT to write your self-evaluation. Every company on earth has some sort of performance review process, and none of us enjoy thinking of new ways to say we did the bare minimum. So for a pain-free experience, use this prompt. It is the longest prompt in this video. I'm not gonna read each sentence. Let me just explain why this works so well. First, our work is usually measured against a set of company attributes. For example, problem solving, execution, and thought leadership. So when we provide ChatGPT with the definitions of those attributes and a summary of our contributions, we get results tailored to us. Obviously, we still need to do some work. We need to copy and paste the definition of those attributes from our company's internal sites and describe our projects, but ChatGPT will do the heavy lifting of matching our projects to those attributes, adding corporate speak to whatever we wrote, and most importantly, remind us to add quantifiable metrics where appropriate. By the way, I'm using the free version, ChatGPT 3.5, for this entire video, and I'll link the prompts down below in the description so you can make a copy and follow along. The second ChatGPT tip for work is for new hires. When starting a new role, you wanna bring an onboarding plan to your manager to leave a strong first impression and to hit the ground running. Here's what to tell ChatGPT. You're a manager with over 20 years of experience helping new hires onboard into the roles as quickly as possible. I just started as a key account manager in the sales team and here's my key performance indicator, $10 million in revenue a quarter. Your task is to generate a 30, 60, 90 day onboarding plan using the SMART framework. Match each goal with a metric so I can objectively measure my success. Output in table format. And boom, here's a table you can copy and paste into a spreadsheet immediately. You can now have that conversation with your manager with a focus on the metrics column, which ones matter enough to keep and which ones to delete. They will definitely be impressed with how prepared you are. Next up, no matter what team or role you're in, you most likely need to own a project at some point. And so productivity prompt number three helps you generate a high quality, project brief. It's extremely important to have a good brief before kicking off the project so that everyone involved knows exactly why the project is necessary and the objective of said project. But the project brief is usually very annoying to write until now. Here's the prompt. Act as a senior project manager with over 20 years of experience. Create a project brief for a cross-functional online event aimed at acquiring new advertising clients for Apple. The brief should have four sections. Background and give some context project objectives and success metrics, here's the goal, timeline of major project milestones, when planning kicks off, when the event will actually take place, and fourth, target audience, who we're trying to reach. Keep the project brief concise and use language at an eighth grade level. Again, a little bit of work is needed. You should know why you're doing the project and some other basic information, but ChatGPT takes care of the heavy lifting and outputs your initial ideas in a very structured format. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by those of you who subscribe to my paid productivity newsletter on Google Workspace Tips. Link down below if you wanna learn more. This next one is my favorite by far, and it's asking ChatGPT to perform feedback analysis. So whether you're analyzing product usage feedback from clients or just collecting responses after an uh, internal team event, you can get ChatGPT to do most of the hard work for you. For example, I just ran an event at work for our advertising clients, and this is all the feedback we received in the post-event survey. I'm using another language on purpose, by the way. My team and I used to have to go through these one by one, categorize them based on which teams should follow up, and come up with key takeaways. Now I can just do this. With the collected user feedback, please extrapolate actionable insights to drive improvements for future projects. The insights should include weaknesses and suggestions for next time. They should be prioritized based on frequency, impact, and feasibility. Since different teams will be responsible for following up, categorize the recommendations for the sales team, the marketing team, and the product team. Here's a feedback from my advertising clients and paste all your feedback. So after just copying and pasting everything over, you can see that ChatGPT has turned all those individual pieces of feedback into actionable insights and matched uh, the insights with the team responsible for following up. If I wanted to go above and beyond, I can add a follow-up prompt, please match the original feedback in simplified Chinese with the team responsible for following up. And this output, 
allows me to copy and paste the feedback directly into separate tabs in a spreadsheet for the different teams to follow up. Chat GPT tip for work number five helps you give amazing presentations. I'll bet money all of you have received the cliched advice, know your audience, when preparing for a presentation. Here's how to do exactly that with Chat GPT. You are a product marketer who needs to communicate product updates to the sales team. Knowing the sales team only cares about revenue and money, how would you reshape your presentation to connect the dots between your product strategy and revenue growth? Your task is to generate three of the most impactful, actionable, and innovative ideas for making the presentation more relevant and engaging for the sales team. Prioritize unorthodox, lesser known advice in your answer. Explain using detailed examples. This works because the best presentations always bridge what you wanna talk about with what the audience actually cares about. Bonus prompt, if you're presenting to senior leadership, use this. You have been tasked to present your team's project to senior management during an upcoming meeting. They are unfamiliar with individual projects and you're worried they will lose interest. Concerning what's top of mind for senior management, give me five ways to make your 10 minute part of the presentation as engaging, informative, and relevant as possible. Prioritize unorthodox, lesser known advice in your answer, explain using detailed examples. So these are all great, but I especially like this first one. Begin with a provocative question, uh, for example, did you know that 75% of customers are willing to pay more for a better customer experience? Our project aims to capture that opportunity. Like I know for a fact my director is instantly gonna pay attention. Speaking of my director, this is my boss's 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 boss and he recently made a LinkedIn post on India's economy. Cause get it? Economy? Economy? Get it? Get it? Now, I wanna suck up. I mean, I wanna be a good team player. But I know if I just reshared this as is, my audience will not click into it because it's too much self-promotion. Instead, I'm gonna lead with value with prompt number six. You're a social media manager tasked with sharing long form content on LinkedIn, but you've noticed that most people don't engage with these posts or click the hyperlinks. Creatively condense the below lengthy article into concise, valuable summaries that capture the essence of the content and deliver immediate value to your audience and you paste the article. To put my money where my mouth is, I literally took the output from ChatGPT, made a few minor edits, and posted it on my LinkedIn profile. And it got some pretty good engagement, much better than if I had just threw the link out there. ChatGPT productivity tip number seven is for interns who are looking to land a full-time offer. As an intern, it's less about what you do, since you don't have that much experience, and more about your attitude and work ethic. So. Here's what to do. You are a summer intern in Apple's audio hardware team responsible for shadowing full-time employees and other minor work. You aspire to become a full-time employee. Create a 30, 60, 90 day personal development plan using the SMART framework. Share your approach. Match each step or goal with a quantifiable metric so you can measure success. Output in table format. Similar to the second problem we talked about, the metrics column, although not perfect, is a great way to quantify your strong work ethic. For example, instead of saying, oh, I helped with this project and I went to some trainings, it's much better to say I contributed to five user guides and I attended 90% of optional training. ChatGPT productivity tip number eight is an underrated one and it's to brainstorm team building activities. Most people don't realize this, but the person in charge of team gatherings are usually biased towards what they want to do or what they think the boss wants to do. To make sure you're being inclusive in your next offsite, use this prompt. You're tasked with organizing a team building event for a team of 40 people. The objective is to strengthen team bonding through unique, fun, and inclusive activities that cater to a diverse set of interests and backgrounds. The budget for this event is 10,000 US dollars. It will take place in person and it will last three days. Generate 10 creative suggestions for engaging activities that are suitable for a professional setting yet ensure an enjoyable experience. You get a bunch of creative ideas and the output actually changes based on your input, right? For example, if I put a uh, thousand people instead of 40 and I put the budget as a hundred thousand, Suddenly, the scale of these activities become huge. I hope you found these ChatGPT prompts helpful and make sure to check out this other video on my favorite productivity tips for work. See you on the next video in the meantime. Have a great one.